Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to, well, a couple minutes actually, to go over the new Lawn Fawn. Um, I made a card recently and I had a lot of people ask me about it. And I'm, while I'm not doing that same card and I will do that card later, I am gonna show you another card. We're gonna put it together. It's mostly colored. Um, so we're not gonna do a, a whole video on coloring it. Um, but I will show you how I ink up the strawberries. Here's one that's already done. And you can see it's got a little bit of a, a variation. You can see the little bit of pinkish throughout it. It's not a solid, solid red. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and do that. I am using fired brick distress inks. And I can't live without my distress inks. Take away anything else in my scrap room, but don't take away those. So you're just gonna go ahead and color it. Your fingers are gonna get inky, so, you know, I apologize, but that's the nature of crafting. We all know how that goes. And just go over it a couple times because you want a couple different shades or you wanna get a, sh you know, a darker red. So we're going to go over it a couple times. And I apologize if you can hear the kids outside playing. It's been a rainy day and I'm sure they were stuck inside. Go ahead and wipe up this red. And now we're going to go to the black because I want a little bit of black just to deepen the the depth of the strawberry, just to give it a little bit more of a shadow. Okay, and there's your strawberry colored. So it's that simple. Um, I don't have a, a large um, green topper, but I do have one that, from the smaller one, which I'm gonna do the smaller one as well, and I'll show you how to do the the, uh, the little green bud or topper or whatever you call that. I'm not sure what they refer to those as, but the top of the, the strawberry. So here's a small one. We're gonna do the same thing. And I try not to get my pink in the same area, you know, cause th we all know that they're, they're all in different areas. Some have green, some have pink. I like the ripe strawberries that are completely red, like a deep red, but those are rare. Okay, so that, and then we're gonna bring in our black and we're gonna just deepen the side of it just a little bit. And there's the small strawberry. So there's your large, there's your small. Now I want to show you how to go ahead and and do the uh, the topper. That's a little bit different. I usually use one of those little finger daubers on those. And for that, I'm using Lucky Clover and Rustic Wilderness. And I'm just going to take it and go over the the edge. You can also put it down and do it like this. I use the same, the same dauber for, for both. I have one dauber per color family, unless it's like a light and dark. Okay. So there is the topper for the, the small. And I'm gonna do a leaf for you as well, just to show you how to do the, um, the different leaves. So again, you can see how it's shaded. You know, it really, really, you know, when you ink it up, it brings it to life. Adds a lot of dimension. On that, I'm just gonna go over the, the ends Leave a little bit of a, a lighter green in the middle. And then you're gonna take your, your dark 
And that's where I really just go over the edge. All right, and there is your green. So you can see, and I don't do everyone the same. You know, I'll do some that are a little bit more on one side because not every leaf is the same as well. So you wanna, you wanna try and make them different so it's not so uniformed. So that is that. That's the tutorial on coloring the, the um, strawberries. Pretty, pretty easy, basic. And now we're going to put together a card, but like I said, we, you know what, let's go to our berry because this is going to be part of our title. And I'm going to show you this card. You can see how it's kind of like an ombre. Um, had a lot of people ask me about that as well. So we're going to do that same technique on these. And what I did was I took a, a piece of tape, I cut it all out, took a piece of washi tape so that I could keep it inside because it's gonna make it easier to ink. And we're gonna go back to, I'm gonna bring in a lighter red this time because I want an ombre look. So I'm gonna bring in Abandoned Coral. And we're gonna go we're going to start, start at the top, and we're going to go maybe three quarters of the way down. And I'm kind of doing this with a light hand. I'm not going real heavy on it. Okay, and now we're gonna bring in our fired brick, which is the, the same color that we used on the strawberries. And uh, same dauber or sponge. We're gonna deepen up the top so you have a little bit more of a, you know, an ombre look. And then don't ink anymore, but just take it and very, very lightly bring some of that down so that you're not going into, you're not having white left. I really don't want any part of the title white, but I want it to kind of blend into, so almost like a pinkish. Okay, and there's your title. Now, if we take this out, And we'll take out the centers as well. Okay. So there's our title. So it's going to be, um, I think we're going to make it a birthday card. So we're going to do have a very happy birthday. And you know what? I'm going to ink the top of this just so that the white isn't showing through. I am going to tell you that one of my pet peeves for me, and I know everybody, a lot of people can do it and make it work. I just, I can't, is stamped images with a white outline. I, I no matter how much I try, and I've got all the, the dyes, um, I just can't make it work. I, I don't know why, 
but for me, it just never, ever looks good. So, I don't do most of my images. If it's a single image, I'm okay with that. But when you're doing a scene, I can't handle it on my cards. Again, most people can do it. They can make it look good. I can't. Okay, so this is Lawn Fawn's um, fence dye. And they have the matching. It has the same outline. It goes perfectly together. This is her some line um, grass. And I've been, I've had this for a little while now. And I've been dying to use it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, let me get my... Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a light layer of... Of glue. And... Okay, so there we go. And I'm telling you, I, I love how Lawn Fawn comes up with such, they're so creative. I, I don't know how they do it, but I know I'm addicted. So they have definitely got um, a fan. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue this on. And again, I have gone ahead with um, my Slimline Cloud Stencil and stenciled the, the back. And you know what? I might go ahead and add just a touch because it's not a whole lot of blue. And I really want a little bit more um, blue peeking out from behind so we're going to go over this ink and make it just a little bit bluer. And that's going to be behind the fence line. You can still see the clouds. And I am using Broken China on this. And this is Oxide. There, and that gives it a little bit more of a, a blue. I want the brighter blue, just to kind of make it a bright sky. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now that we've got our sky done and the rest of it done. We're gonna go ahead and start assembling. Um, and I know I'm probably gonna put my title somewhere in here, just because that's where the, the biggest opening is. So we're gonna do it in here. And this alphabet set is, is probably one of my favorites. It's this set right here. This is actually the Henry Alpha, and I love it. I love how fun and it's not your typical, and I am a very simple, clean, um, I like clean lines, but for some reason, this, this Alpha I fell in love with immediately. Okay, so now we're gonna build our strawberry patch over here, and then we're going to have kind of like a family of, um, of little mice. I've already got them colored. So I've got them right here. And we're going to build, build our little scene. So we're going to use the strawberries that we've already got. And we're going to be mixing and matching quite a bit here. So we're going to do, and we want to have some greenery throughout it.
kind of want to leave enough room that I can put um, a little guy over in the corner. And I think we're going to go ahead and put him off in, into the corner. He's over there a little working. He's a little worker bee or mice, mouse. And we're gonna have some playful mice as well. They are, whew, mom and dad are, are watching and they are not happy. Okay, yeah, I've gone a little crazy on my, my little story here, but that's okay. All's fun. And once we get it to where we like it, we'll go ahead and, and glue it down. I usually do that at the very end, but I have to get it to, to where I'm happy with it first. And, uh, and I'm sorry about my arm. We're going to have uh, this little guy's over here playing on the Oh, and look, we've got another little one. They're having a good old time. This comes out of the fairy um, stamp set forget the name of it, but it's the fairy one. And I borrowed it from, you know, that stamp set. We're going to have mom and dad and let's see, we're going to put dad right here. He's talking to mom. You know, I can almost picture him saying, you know, I'll pick the strawberries if you make a strawberry, uh, strawberry shortcake. Okay. So here's my scene. This is pretty much how I'm going to have it laid out. And you know what I forgot to do? Let's go ahead and do my title. Very special. Well, since I didn't ink up my title, we're going to go ahead and and keep it very special. I might go ahead and stick one of these guys behind, almost like the strawberry patches coming from behind the fence as well. Okay, oh, this is pretty much how it's going to be laid out. So, um, a quick tutorial, and I will go ahead and, and uh, glue this down, but you don't need to see me do that. So, if you have any questions, let me know, but this is going to be the final card, and once it's uh, completely glued together, I will, uh, I will post a, a picture of that as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for, for spending time with me tonight. And I hope you have a great night. Oh, and here is another card made with the same stat, set. Um, I'm addicted to it right now. It's so cute. Again, these are the Strawberry Patch dies. The very special stamp set. And I've taken, I've taken Little Mouse from you know, so many different, you know, Daisy Day or uh, Dandy Day, um, the Bubbles one. And then 
I think that was it. And then the strawberry patch or so those are uh those are pretty much all the different stamp sets I have mice. Or at least not Christmas mice. So anyways, um thanks so much for watching and have a great night.